So the New Zealand Falcon came in to us in the end of June and she had a fractured leg, which is the tibia tarsus, the lower leg bone. And the veterinarian was able to actually realign that bone and cover it with a splint so that it could heal. And she was with us in the wild base hospital for about a month and she was really good actually. They're often quite stressy birds to have in hospital, but this kid was quite young, um, but she was quite relaxed in hospital, ate up a storm and actually healed without complications. So that was really great for the staff there. We were able to move her down to the Central Energy Trust Wild Base Recovery Centre where the Wild Base staff were able to continue to monitor her progress and watch the dexterity and strength improve in her foot that had the, the leg fracture. And she's been down here at the rehab centre for two months and we're super happy with how she's progressed. And so it's now time to release her. She's getting agitated in the enclosure and is uh, kind of hating us, so it's time for her to go. Um, so we're going to release her back around where she was found, which was over in Fielding. And we're going to try and release her as close to where she was found as possible, but also somewhere where she's a bit safe as well. Uh, we see several falcons every year. They are an at-risk species, so they are re a recovering species, but they still need our help. So when we see these individuals, it's really important that we can return them back to the wild in the hope that they can actually contribute to the population, because we want to continue to see that growth with these very special, beautiful and very fast birds.